Ich heiße Percy Jackson. Ob ich ein Problemkind bin? Ja, könnte man so sagen. Schlechte Noten, werd fertig gemacht, ganz normales Zeug eben. Dann gibt's auch Dinge, die vielleicht nicht so normal sind. Du hast etwas gesehen. Etwas, das sonst niemand sehen konnte? Percy Jackson. Wir haben dich erwartet. Der Herrscher Blitz wurde gestohlen. Du musst ihn zurückbringen. Denk daran, was ich dir beigebracht habe. I think it, it would be really difficult to try to take this book and turn it into a movie. I think in order to get all of the pieces into it that feel like they're really integral to the experience of being on the adventure with these kids, um, you just run out of road. And, and I think fortunately an eight episode series um, felt like exactly the right length and exactly the right format to be able to um, to experience the story, I think, in, in a way that feels like it, it makes you feel the same way the book did. To be able to tell these character stories, you need that real estate. And I think we so benefited from how the book broke down um, for the eight episodes. Um, to be able to, to invest in these kids, um, you needed the time for real deep emotional conversations and fall in love with them. Um, and that's really hard to do in a short, much shorter time frame, especially with how massive this canvas is. You know, obviously it starts with those three kids, and I think you go into it knowing that if any one of those three kids isn't perfect, it might not work, it probably won't work. We decided at the beginning to um, apply a bit of a loose grip to that process and to go into it not looking for anything, but being ready to find something. You know, really hoping that, that somebody would walk into that room and make it impossible to imagine that character in anyone else's performance. And, and we got very lucky that all three of those kids, their auditions made it very clear that the casting process ended at that point and that they were, um, they were the ones who were supposed to play those roles. It was also important for, for the chemistry. Um, you know, making sure th these kids are in almost every, you know, scene together for majority of the season. And so it was making sure that there was that perfect fit uh, amongst them. So it wasn't only just casting the individuals who we knew, you know, the moment we saw them, they were it. It was also how are they all going to work together. And what I can say is 160 days later after shooting this, they still adore each other and there is such a bond between them that I think it comes out uh, in their performances. Um, there's just such a deep professionalism and respect from these kids um, for each other and it's, it was a really beautiful thing to watch. We tried really hard to just not pay attention to them. I think, um, you know, the, the exciting part of coming into a project like this is to start with a book that millions of people have deeply fallen in love with. And I think um, that opportunity to, to go back to the written word and to the beginning of that story and realize it in, in all of the ways it felt like it wanted to be realized felt like a, a big enough challenge without trying to bounce it off of a movie that happened in between. I think um, the movie, the musical, um, are, are other people's projects from, from a different time in a different context. And I think this one, we wanted to, um, to let it be the most organic version of um, adaptation of the book that we could imagine. It's a great question. Um, it's such a complicated, big show. Um, you're going on a massive adventure. Um, and so, it's creatures in every episode that are brand new. It's working with kids who can only work about five and a half hours a day. It's uh, going on a, on, a, on a road show where you're going across America and so every single week you're building new sets. It's one of these just expansive stories that is, um, it comes with all of those challenges, but those challenges were 
were awesome to tackle. Um, you know, you don't get that opportunity very much in, in our careers where you get to be able to figure all of that out and create um, all of these worlds. So we looked at those challenges and, and that was exciting to us. That seemed like it pretty much <laughs> covered it. I mean, this, is, um, this was by, um, by, by no measure an easy process, but, um, but I think that's why hopefully it will feel as realized and as new as it will for this audience. I hope that if you are a fan of the book, if you've been a fan of the book for a long time, it will feel like um, everything you wanted it to be and some things you weren't expecting. My hope is is that if you haven't read the book, that it's something that will um, that will still capture your imagination and something that feels like a um, an adventure story that really is kind of made for everyone and relatable to and accessible by everyone. I'll just add, you know. Uh, so many millions of people for almost two decades have fallen in love with this story and I think it is because they're, they can see themselves in these kids. Whether you're a, a 12 year old right now, whether you're someone in their 20s who, who felt that way or you're a parent who had a kid who was going through really complicated times, I think everybody can access this in some way and I think that's why these books have resonated for as long as they have and I think will continue. And the hope is with this series, with how true we are to these books, that you, that audience will be able to feel the same. Ah! Du musst jetzt sehr tapfer sein.